All right, so we're going to uh, look at how to um, do the Excel portion uh, for this graph, the calibration of our temperature thermometer curve. Um, so let's see, down here it gives us some instructions and uh, you'll notice that um, it says to put the, um, the measured values which in my case are 1.1 1 .1 and 99.3 uh, degrees. We are going to put those in A1 and A2. And then the um, true values, 0 and 100, we're going to put in B1 and B2. All right. So let me switch to um, Excel. And um, I'll just click into view here. So. Well, let me go ahead and uh, do it this way so that it will actually be A1 and A2. Okay. Um, and it was 1.1 1 .1 and 99.3. Let me magnify him just a bit. All right. Okay, so and then we're going to put 0 and 100 in those cells. All right, so now what we want to do is um, we want to make a chart. Okay, and if I click back over here, it says click on the insert tab and then uh, click on the scatter chart. And so um, depending on what version of Microsoft Excel that you are using. Um, the 2007 version, you click on the insert tab and then um, here are the different types of charts. You want a scatter chart and then um, you can just pick uh, really any one of those. It won't really matter. And then it puts it on there for you. Okay. Um, so here, if I zoom out a little bit, we can see it. There's our chart. All right. Um, now we just have two points, but you'll notice that uh, the line is going uh, downward. And, uh, the, and I think this is what was causing some problems um, with uh, what many of you were doing, okay? So, um, honestly, I haven't looked at all of the rest of these instructions. I'm just going to uh, walk you through. When this, this happens, the reason is because, um, as you see here, when you select a chart, it shows you uh, the data that it's charting. And it's looking at it as though it's in rows. So instead of looking at 1.1 1 .1 and 99.3, it's looking at 1.1 1 .1 and 0. And, um, and a 99.3 and 100. So it's pairing them the wrong way. So we can fix that by right-clicking on the chart and there will be an option here for uh, select data. Okay, so we go down, we choose that and it brings this up and, and right here for this version it's right in the middle switch rows and columns. That's really all we need to do. You'll notice now it has them paired um, the way we want them so we just click OK and now we have the ascending graph that we, uh, we need. Okay, So at this point you can go um, and add the trend line. Right click on the data point. You can't do it just if you try to right click somewhere on the chart you won't, uh, you won't have the um, add trend line option. But if you select, uh, select that point click out of there and then select either point then you have the add trend line option 
and we can um, select it'll come out default to linear that's what we want but we need to make sure that it will display the equation on the chart okay because that's what we're really interested in all right close that and now there's our trend line and here is the equation all right so what we want from this are those two values all right let me move this just a bit okay um, because that is the equation of that line y equals mx plus b so m is the slope in this case 1.0183 b is the y-intercept that would be a negative 1.1202 those are the two numbers that you're going to put in um, in Chem 21 labs where it asks for for those values okay so the main thing I think that was causing problems for most of you was just the fact that uh, you need to do that one extra step where you right click on the chart go to select data and switch the rows and the columns okay alright this is a demonstration of the same thing using uh, an uh, older version it's also a Mac version but I think it should be uh, similar to the older version on a PC all right, so here is the data and if we go to insert um, and we want to put in a chart not oh, there it is <laughs> okay and it comes with our options here there is the uh, XY scatter chart so that's what we want and then you select the chart there All right. once you do that zoom out here a bit then uh, you'll notice it defaults to rows okay so just like before and also if you see the um, data range uh, no that's not the, the one if you go to the individual series you'll see the the data range you want this to be A1 to A2 you could put it in manually if you wanted um, but uh, we're just going to do this put it to columns it switches it just like it did in the other version and then you'll notice here now it says A1 to A2 okay so that was the issue that I think was uh, causing problems for um, many of you. And then you can just click on uh, finish. And uh, for the Mac version, you uh, will do the um, control ch uh, click, add trend line and um, and then you it's selected with linear so we go to options and then down here it says display equation on chart so pretty much the same sort of stuff it's just arranged a little bit differently click OK and there's our equation and you'll notice it gives you those same values that we got in uh, in the other version. All right.